Welcome everybody to the Tuesday Evening Screencast Video Coaching Call. My name is Lon Naylor. I'll be your host tonight. And let me wrap up by just kind of showing you a quick little trick. Maybe I should have a segment called Lon's Library. Let's go to Lon's Library real quick and take a look at a little something I created. One of the nice visual effects that you can do is topography. So here, let's drop this on the timeline. And this is just a stupid, simple example of kind of a oh, moving topography. I'm going to set my background to black to demo this. Let's zoom in on the timeline and just preview this guy. Okay, I call this rapid text. And it's when you want to have a really impactful series of words. In fact, I could do something like series of words, right? And maybe this is the way I choose to display that visually. Don't miss this. Sunday, 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 whatever it is you want. It's just a quick and easy way to do this. So let's ungroup this and just take a look at what it is. When I said stupid simple, I really kind of mean it. Here I just grabbed me a big chunky font. What do we got? We got us Arial Black, big and bold. And I just added a behavior to it. I used the fly in behavior, so it flies in. Boom! Okay, and then I take, there's no during, there's no out. So it's basically just gonna disappear. That's okay, because right on its heels, right behind this guy, comes the next one. Boom! And then boom a boom boom boom. And you can, of course, kind of repeat this process kind of as long as you want. And you can also make it even a little more impactful. Again, because this is a behavior, how long does this last? This is 23 frames. Okay, so it's pretty quick. But if I wanted it to be even quicker, could kind of shorten things up even a little bit more. When you shorten a behavior like this, remember that the animation is also going to speed up. Okay, and I think for this one, I actually bumped the speed up a little bit anyway to 95. Do, 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 right? And then, of course, you just kind of bundle them up. And I used three text boxes. As a library asset, all I really need, I guess I could get by with just two boxes. But I just have, you know, like a three word phrase add it to my library, give it a name. I called mine rapid text. And then anytime I want to use it, it's a little topography asset. I can just drop on the timeline and uh, rock and roll with. All right. OK, any questions on that? I think I actually exported this library asset. Does anybody want this? Want this thing right here so you don't have to screw around with it? I'll put this in with the replay. It won't work in Camtasia 9 because it requires the fly-in behavior, but it will should import 20 has it 2018 or 2019, whichever version came out with the fly-in behavior. So it'll work in every version that has the fly-in behavior. Uh, let's see, anything else? Wow, boom, punch it right on the button here. We're at the top of the hour. Does anybody have any other questions? Questions or comments? Leave them, I love them. Don't forget to subscribe if you want more stupid tricks and stuff. I think that's it then. Everybody have a good one, and I'll talk to you all later.